guys and I'm back with another tutorial now I just had my cheese and crackers and I I'm filled up now so I'm ready to do the tutorial um, so where we left off last time uh, you were, we had a glitch where you can come down and you can stand up in this bit and be stuck there forever and ever and that wouldn't look good in your game because people will judge you saying that you're not glitch free and that is just not fair and it's Quite discreet. So yeah, <laughs> what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and create. First, let's focus up on this thing. Double click it, push F, whatever the hell you want to do. There's loads of different ways. I'm not judging. So we're gonna go ahead and create a sphere capsule cylinder. Hmm, a sphere. Now, what you want to do? You want to line this up so it's the same width of your player and the same pointiness. Basically, the same as his head. So that needs to be well. That needs to be thinner. The red one needs to come in a bit. Okay, set this a bit higher. And it doesn't need to be that thick. Hmm, that might not be as round as the head. So bring this back down a little bit. So as you can see, it it'll roughly be the same size as the head. A little bit thicker. Oh. Hmm. That seems fair. Yeah, and then you just want to go ahead and lift that above the head. Now that is going to be our collision detector. <laughs> Sounds funny and posh. Wait, no, wait, wait. You want to bring that there. You want to bring that there, don't you? Don't you? But then if we put that in there, where are you? Where are you, Sphere? That would be... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let's write the script first. So create a whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to get our scripts folder. Got to keep organized. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not that good at that. But JavaScript. Now this is gonna be our collision detector sphere. I don't know how to sphere, so we're just gonna leave it as collision detector. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the script into our beautiful mono developer here. Get rid of this. The start function. Get rid of this. Close that. Save this. And uh, where where did our sphere go? Here's our sphere. Okay, let's bring this back up. Okay, so what this is is it's going to be our face. It's going to be a trigger, so that we don't actually collide with it and it breaks our face, and the game glitches and goes all over the place. <laughs> it rhymed. So <coughs> we need to attach our script onto the collision detector. And now we're going to have a variable called player obj, like we usually d What happened to all my color? Why did it all like... That looked awesome. No, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so, and then that's going to be a game object. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Game object. Okay, so let's close that, save that. And... What we're practically gonna do is this capital O Hang on. It's gonna have game tra no transform dot position dot x equals player object dot transform dot position dot x. You see where I'm coming at now? So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. Paste down there, change that to Y. Change that to Y. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Click on this. And now if our script player object should come up and we click and drag the first person controller into there. Go ahead and play. And now you can see it is fucked up. Okay, so the X and Y is perfect. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. I see. First problem. One of these is meant to be a Z. I think it's Y. Change that to the Z. Change that to the Z. Go ahead and save. Click on here. Hit the play. Bingo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so <laughs> now it's going to follow us around, which is perfectly fine, I guess. And if we crouch, it'll be yeah. And then yeah. Okay. So 
Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna untake that mesh renderer because we literally just want the collider. I would remove the component, but for now I'm gonna use it to so I can still see the dance sphere. And I'll move it once everything's done and glitch free. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and use make the Y. So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Somebody knocked on the door and I had to go say hi. Uh, but yeah, I'm back now. And as I was saying, we're gonna have to change these to Y's. Why? Then we're gonna plus about two here, so we're gonna go ahead and save them. So now, if we go to our sphere, I'm actually make it a bit smaller. And if we put it on the first person controller, then put two. That's how high it's gonna be. Okay, so we click and drag that out. So that's how high it's gonna be, which you might think is pretty high, but if I go ahead and play this, when you crouch. Uh, yeah, that's still pretty high. <laughs> so, okay, so instead of one, we're gonna have like instead of two, we're gonna have one point four five, one point five. So we go back on here and we hit this play button, and uh, that's where it'll be. Which means crouching and doing its thing will be fine. We go ahead and take that, and yeah, make sure that the is trigger is tick. Actually, I'm not sure where it matters, but we're gonna leave it ticked for now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put if. Um, 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 um. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna think about when it hits. Oh, I'm not even in function. Hold on. Function. Uh, wh when it when it enters a collision, it's gonna change a boolean, which we're gonna create now. Colliding boolean equals false. Okay, it's gonna create a boolean, and well, it's not gonna create. It's gonna change the boolean to false if we're not colliding. And it's gonna change it to true if we are colliding. So let's quickly make a function on collision. Did I spell that right? Call is yeah. Thought I was another guy at the door then. Okay, on collision. Where was I? Stay. Stay with me. Okay, so we put this in here and now we're gonna have the colliding because this is on collision, which means it has to be colliding, which means we're gonna change colliding to true. Another function. Make sure I'll just copy this one. Nothing wrong with copy and pasting when you wrote what you copied and pasted. <laughs> Makes sense. So it's going to be on collision, and instead of stay, it's going to be exit. And this, then we're going to change this to false. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Now we're going to click on our sphere, and we're going to watch that boolean of colliding, whether it's going to be true or false. Now. Yeah, that's what I feared. I didn't think it'll work if it's on a trigger. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, in that case, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead to component. Wait, wait. Game object, no, component, physics, rigid body. Nah, I'm pretty sure if we put these constraints on it. I don't know whether they'll be frozen or if. Let's just add constraints anyway. Oh yeah, that's fine. And now we're on our sphere, yes. Whoops, my bad. Oh, I got text message. Okay, now let me try about the Okay, so if it's a trigger, I keep shooting at this guy. Wait, I've lost where I am. Here's the cube. Okay, so <coughs> it works, except we can't have it as a trigger, so we'll just untick that. <sighs> Saved already, okay. So now we're going to go ahead to our player controller. And... Yeah, so, player controller. 
Once it loads up. Oh, it has. <laughs> we want to go ahead and create another variable. And I'm just going to, yeah. Okay, another variable called collision detector. Detector. Okay. Um, OBJ. And that's obviously going to be a game object. Save that. Save. So now we're going to practically get component from this game object. Um, we're going to actually create another variable. Allow we no, collided equals dot get make sure that we can use it from equals boolean equals wait can we can we dot get no okay fine we'll just leave it as a boolean equal to false save and then I've got to create a new function call it awake Here we're gonna put wait 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 we can have collided equals the get component the component is collision detector and the colliding paste that close that. So now we're going to go ahead to our first person and camera location. This script here, this collided. Now we want to see if it syncs. So if we're colliding, that bug should take. Oh, okay, I'll say it. That makes sense. Collision detector. It's a sphere, right? Play. Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't. But. Put in the update. I think that'll that'll be better. Why is the way not working? It's still broken. Wait, it is that sphere, right? Sphere colliding. Let's just make sure that that works. I'm gonna be trying to get something that doesn't work. Okay, that's ticked, which means that on here, see that's meant to be ticked which means we done something well I done something wrong uh, collided equals collision See, that all seems fine to me. Colliding, everything's there. What if we get rid of that? We just have, get rid of that. We'll have this. Okay, we'll do it from here. If you push crouch, no, if you push stand, and the get component, we can detect a script. I'll change that in a sec. Script the Colliding here. The colliding equals equals false. Now I'll we'll copy this. Copy and put it in the crouch too. And I forget the ands. Go ahead and save. 
and then what we'll do, we'll just change the script collision detector to collision detector script and that'll be fine okay okay whoa stop the lacking what have I done to you close get out of my face okay fine just close one of them everything still works mono develop goodbye okay <laughs> now let's open up our scripts What are these? They're all yellow. I don't like them. Okay. Collision detected script. That's fine. And then our 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 player controller. That's it. Player controller update. Okay. So play. Okay, it works. Yeah. Alright, sweet, that's good to know. Now, if it still feels like VSync came on. Oh well. Now, if you go up to something and you go up to it, if this sphere is colliding with an object, meaning that his like standing up point is blocked, you can't actually stand up. Okay, so that's good. Hard to explain, but it works. That's, that's alright. So, Next episode will be the last episode on crouching and stuff, and I know we spent quite a while on it, but we're making it glitch free and making it work perfect before we do anything. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>